Hey everybody, how you doing? McClanahan Stringed Instruments here. I'm Jonathan McClanahan and I wanted to show you uh, this 1949 Gibson F12 that I've revoiced. Um, this mandolin here, you've seen it in the pictures and the, throughout the process from the start to finish. And this is the uh, this is the finished product right here. I'll take you over the fine points of it, but um, just look at how that how that back came out. It, it th this back is just just something else. It's really something else. Very special. What we decided was. He wanted to upgrade and wanted to modernize some of it, but yet, um, and I, and but yet he wanted to, you know, maintain the integrity of, of what it is originally, and um, and I definitely agree. I mean, these mandolins are amazing. I love them, and um, I mean, there there's a lot of them there that have you know some issues that needs to be worked out. Um, the reason why I revoiced this mandolin, and I've revoiced a lot of these, but um, they are just great mandolins and um, this clamshell tailpiece is just you can't get no cooler than that right there that Gibson uh, clamshell is just amazing and I had to put a new bridge on it I had to rebuild this whole scroll right here this section right here if you've noticed um, a lot of these F12s was the scrolls was rounded and a lot of them were just flat right here. I actually had to come in here and splice this and as you can see in the pictures uh, from here all the way over to here and build it up, build the crest up and then ascend it and uh, do all that. So it come out really well. I'm very, very pleased with how this top scroll come out. The ears were in really bad shape right here. Um, I had to dress them up and reshape them. Brian wanted a uh, radius fingerboard on it. So, uh, and also he wanted, the, the thing he wanted to modernize a little bit on it was, you know, like a pearl um, truss rod cover right there, black pearl. But he also wanted my, um, he wanted a shortened version of my uh, blade extension. And so, you know, I've done that and um, it come out nice on the overall look of it. Um, here's the headstock here. This this headstock was was came up and was severely like square, right there. I came in and I rounded it and got got a uh, better contour on that, and um, it come out really well. Uh, let's see. As far as the top goes, there was just a lot of issues with uh, the graduation and the thickness and everything um, that I had to address. And then the rims were painted completely black. I was um, I was able to get some curl. If, if I hope you can see um, in the lighting, I was able to get some curl out of there and uh, out of the scroll. Some decent, really good curl right there. Curl there. This side got a little bit of curl. Might have been why they they stained it black. Actually, you never know. But. Um, Evened up the binding on it. The binding was uh, really wavy as far as that goes. Got it all together. There was thick and, and thinner uh, parts of the binding all the way around that I evened up and got, got it all uniform. This right here was, was really, really big. Um, and this whole neck was just really large and uh, took it down. Love these mahogany necks and these mandolins. Um, I took it down, slim lined it, and um, I mean, you got to be real careful as far as the truss rod in these things. Um, it just takes, you know, it's really nerve-wracking. But uh, man, it come out great. 
and um, so excited, so pleased with it. Redress the volutes. The volutes were in really needing uh, needing attention, and uh, got those volutes really nice. And um, dressed up the back of the headstock. It had been drilled multiple times and filled all of them and got that done. And uh, so that that mahogany looks so good though with that with the body. Recrested the scroll and fixed that as well. I fixed this right here, this crest going up here. Fixed all of that. That was that was you know it was in bad shape. Um, the recurve in it was in bad shape. The thickness of the back was crazy, crazy thick. And but yet again, I don't like real thin backs neither. Real thin tops. Um, you gotta have a you gotta have a balance. That G chop is just. Man, it's got a chop like crazy. That's the thing about it, just so easy to play, even up here in D. And the action's low too. tuning in to McClanahan Stringed Instruments in this edition of revoicing this 1949 Gibson F12 mandolin and um, if you like content like this make sure and like and subscribe to my channel click that icon that bell icon where you get prompted whenever I um, upload a video in the future all right God bless and I'll see you soon